Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. Law firms will take this as a retainer. What? It must be a law firm when they hungry as hell. Now you gonna help me with this parole I'm dealing with? Judge Joe Brown's all new barbecue sauce and seasoning, justice in the form of flavor. With one taste of our premium blends of all natural ingredients, herbs, and spices, mm, you'll fall in love with meat all over again. Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce collection is made up of two zesty flavors original and spicy. There's only one way to bring order back to barbecuing just add Judge Joe Brown's all natural barbecue sauce and seasoning, and you be the judge. So should we go on to Al Sharpton or should I go on to J.D. Vance interview that he did on CNN? It is the editorial opinion that this person we're about to discuss has a despicable record of dispatching our domesticated chicken population. <laughs> he has killed so many for his culinary satisfaction. Chicken eating Sharpton. Let's see, what are, what are we going to do about him? Pulpit pimp extraordinary, except he doesn't seem to have a pulpit. Right. All right. Let's take a listen. Bobblehead boy. Huh? Bobblehead boy. You hear religious leaders talking about this. You hear local officials in Springfield talking about this. Um There is now the threat of violence, the fear of violence. Bomb threats. Bomb threats against uh, people in Springfield. <clears throat> they have literally had to close the schools and Can cancel town hall meetings because of these threats. And when you look at the fact that he is now admitting they made up a story, uh, as you say, quoting him, that the media wouldn't cover, maybe the media didn't cover it because there was no story. It didn't exist. But again, this is consistent with uh, Trump campaign let's back check that's a damn lie vance and the trump campaign didn't make anything up what he said was on investigating how this got started it looks like a certain local woman may have made something up and oh. the determination is not complete so he's lying that's a fact check on his mm -hmm. bald chicken eating self Go ahead. Let's not forget Donald Trump as president called Haiti and several African countries as whole countries. You nah, also have to put into are. the. Uh, to, uh, they are. They're sewers. That's the truth of the matter. You wouldn't want to live there. So, anyway, telling the truth is wrong. Come on, chicken eating boy. Let's get back to it. Go ahead factor in that if you are someone that is anti-Haitians in Springfield or coming in to think you're defending the people of Springfield whose pets are being eaten up, any black walking around uh, uh, Springfield looks Haitian. I mean, it is racist. Mm -hmm. It is a clear threat to people. Stop, stop, and uh, just stop, like I stop, denounce stop, whoever's trying to... The bottom line is, is that this township had 56, maybe 59,000 residents. You bring in 26,000 illegal Haitians who have not gone through the process of applying for citizenship or permanent residency. You jump from not quite 60,000 up to over 80,000 people in a scant few months because these are illegals you brought in. What the hell do you think is going to happen? Because when a person applies for legal immigration, what has to happen is before they get that permanent visa, before they get in line to be sworn in as a citizen, what winds up happening is they have to go through these classes to find out what American customs are, what else is going on, and uh, maybe there's something else to it because a lot of erstwhile citizens who claim to live there are showing videos online of some of these things that are supposed to be happening. So whether or not they're a falsehood or not, is yet to be determined, and this chicken-eating pimp here 
has been pulpit pimp has been spreading all sorts of lies. Let's start with what is it, Tawana Brawley, back 30 some years ago where he jumped on board that falsehood where she claimed she had been raped and it turned out it was all made up and then you go on. This clown hasn't exactly been notorious for backing verifiable a true causes or recitations or reports. So um, let me finish playing the clip. That way now. Trying to assassinate Donald Trump for whatever reasons, they should denounce the fact that they are inciting nuts to feel that they can go into Springfield and save pets. That's what well, those kinds of jaded thinking is what leads to killings. I did the funerals in Buffalo, New York, of a mass killer that felt he had the right to target blacks. I've been to others and did eulogies. This is dangerous. This is a threat to people. And the same time we denounce what apparently has happened as a threat to Donald Trump, we should denounce yeah. what is apparently a threat to blacks and particularly hate, uh, Haitians in Springfield, uh, in Springfield. Well, I mean, Donald Trump. How about all of the black people that are complaining about it too? Did you forget them, Pimp? Right. <laughs> it isn't just white people. There's some black people coming forward to talk about this too. So what is it, Pimp? And do we believe you when you've been discredited so often? And by the way, you are the snitch that got exposed in the New York Post for being, what is it, Rat Fink? Uh, who's. What? I think you. A, oh, a snitch on a, on a mob. mob. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I want to play this. This is a, um, a quick clip of Governor DeWine um, or DeWine, however you pronounce his name, the governor of Ohio. And he is speaking to the, it says 33 separate bomb threats. Uh, he said the threats are coming from one particular country. So let me play. At least 33 separate uh, bomb threats, each one of which uh, has been uh, responded to, and each one of whom has been found uh, as a hoax. So 33 uh, threats, 33 hoax. I will make that very, very clear. None of these had any validity uh, at all. Uh, we know uh, that people are very, very uh, concerned. Uh, and we have taken some actions. And uh, in a moment, I'll let uh, Andy Wilson go into more detail. Uh, but we've moved resources uh, into, into Springfield. So I want to say to the parents in Springfield, uh, these hoaxes, have, these, these threats uh, have all been hoaxes. None of them have panned out. Uh, we have people, uh, unfortunately, overseas uh, who are taking these actions. Uh, some of them are coming from one particular country. Um, we think that this is, uh, you know, one more opportunity to mess with the United States and they're, they're continuing to do that. So we cannot let the bad guys win. Uh, our schools must remain open. Mm -hmm. So it's a hoax from one particular person from one particular country. So what is Al Sharpton talking about? He's an ass. He is and he's like, so they he, he he's they're trying to lay out that's what I mean. They, they, they're trying to lay out the white people, the MAGA supporters are racist, and they're threatening the, the black Haitians and, and us black Americans need to stand up. None of that is going on. No, you see, I like I said, he's a lying pulpit pimp with no credibility. His entire career has been based on shysterism jumping on board something half cocked without having full information on what's actually going on. And see, this is typical. It's coming from one country. It's coming from a specific location and he's trying to blame the opposition. See, this is straight out of the Nazi playbook. Looks mm -hmm. like 1934 all over again in the Weimar Republic or what was left of it when the National Socialist Workers Party that has the well-known acronym of Nazi 
started doing just what you're seeing right now. So I want to play the J.D. Vance clip on CNN, and I can't wait for that VP debate on the October 1st. Once and for all, you again started this in part by saying that, at which Donald Trump repeated on the debate stage, that and he didn't say anything about the policies that you're talking about. He just said patients are eating dogs and cats. Can you affirmatively say now that that is a rumor that has no base basis with evidence? Dana, the evidence is the firsthand account of my constituents who are telling me that this happened. And by the way, I've been trying to talk about the problems in Springfield for months and the American media ignored it. There was a congressional hearing just last week of angel moms who lost children because Kamala Harris let criminal migrants into this country who then murdered their children. The American media totally ignored this stuff until Donald Trump and I started talking about cat memes. If I have to, but it if wasn't I have just to meme, create right? stories so that the American media actually pays attention to the suffering of the American people, then that's what I'm going to do, Dana, because you guys are completely letting Kamala Harris coast. You had one interview with her. You talk about pushing back against me, Dana. You didn't push back against the fact that she cast the deciding vote on the Inflation Reduction Act, which is why a lot of Americans can't afford food and housing. You just said we that you're be creating talking a about story. Public policy. He didn't say that. So are you just creating a story. That I, you just said that this is a story that you've yes. created. So so that the eating dogs we and are cats cre- thing is we, not we are accurate. creating we are Dana, it comes from firsthand accounts from my constituents. I say that we're creating a story, meaning we're creating the American media focusing on it. I didn't create 20,000 illegal migrants coming into Springfield thanks to Kamala Harris's policies. Her policies did that. But yes, we created the actual focus that allowed the American media to talk about this story and the suffering caused by Kamala Harris's policies. Do you? What did he say? You didn't hear him? I heard him. But did you say the story's false? He said we created the issue. That's right. That's what he said because we need focus. You won't pay attention to the dead humans. Maybe you'll pay attention to the dead cats or all the dead humans. too. Because <laughs> you know people love their dogs and cats, honey. Yeah. I like <laughs> my dog. You know, so... He didn't say the incidents are false. He said we created the issue because you bozos and mainstream media ignore this. And you don't say anything about it. And Kamala Harris, the Kamala Harris caused it. Yeah. Hello. Like he didn't say it's false. He says these are based on reports from his constituents. Get that. So you see, Al Sharpton is a lying piece of chicken shit. Basically, he's eating enough chicken, so I guess when he shits, it's mostly chicken anyway, so that's quite literally true. And he's a pulpit pimp, always has been, always runs with a mistruth or a half-truth, trying to push it to his own little ends. Need to take his bobblehead head back someplace and find a real pulpit in a real church and start finding the God he claims he believes in and starts preaching a sermon of some kind of righteousness so, instead of being a political pimp. Now, anyway, back to no, this. Man this never is- said they created anything. That's a damn lie. That's not what he just got through saying. This is just 30 seconds, this one here. It People calls from the Dana, And they're telling me this stuff is happening. Dana, would you like to ask me questions and then let me answer them? Or would you like to debate me uh, on on these topics? I noticed that when you had Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz, you gave them multiple choice answers to the questions that you asked and you allowed them to answer the questions. I'm happy to hear to be here to talk about policy. But if you're going to interrupt me every single time that I open my mouth, then why am I even doing this? So please ask a question and I'd ask you to be polite enough to yes, let me answer. Yes, calls and <laughs> put it in a place. I like this guy. The more I hear him, the more I like him. Yeah, I was about to say that too. Um, listen, 
I see Miss Doris Lewis. Just hang tight, guys. Um, listen, nobody is beating up Haitians or the Venezuelans. It's actually the opposite. Americans have a problem with the illegals. We have a problem with the Biden administration that allowed over 10 million of them to come here illegally. And they're shelling out billions of dollars to of resources to care for them. That is why we're pissed off. No one is disrespecting or degrading Haitians. Look, white, black, brown, red, yellow. I don't care what the hell you look like. You committed a crime. I'm sentencing your ass to do the time. Now, that's what I did. So the fact that these happen to be Haitians, but juxtapose on the fact that not a single one of them has gone through that we're talking about here or uh, Vance is talking about, went through the legal process and broke the American law and everybody that is shipping them in is guilty of a conspiracy, organized crime activity, so to speak, except under the Fed system that wouldn't come, but you can get some like uh, Bragg and Fannie Willis going off other places trying to claim that it's organized crime, but it's not. But it is conspiracy to make break American laws and commit felonies. So it is prosecutable. And somebody ought to go prosecute this. And that law and order lying up in hyena that's running for U.S. president who claimed to have been a prosecutor is not one that had much dignity or purpose as to what she did other than self-advancement. You can see her totally ignoring what the U.S. law says by what she is encouraging. The breaking of the law, and you juxtapose that with what came out of her foul mouth not long ago when she was raising bonds for these people that were burning down these towns on these George Floyd demonstrations. Mm -hmm. so, so what is she? A liar? Yeah. Which way is she lying? She telling the truth or is it just like this chicken eating pimp we just heard? So one last thing, um, video that I want to play. There have been a lot of um, Haitian Americans, whether they are actors or politicians or activists coming out, you know, um, basically saying we don't eat cats, don't degrade our culture, you know, defending, defending their lineage there, you know. Uh, but I want to. That's what you do. Yes, that's what you do. And the beautiful Garcelle Bilvasi, I know I'm saying it wrong. Who is she? She's an actress. And Never like, heard of her. So why has she got political expertise? Well, I, I, a lot of people heard her. I heard of her. She is a, um, a famous actress. Um, she's beautiful and she just does not age. Um, but so she what's is, that got to do with her political commentary? Why are we worried <laughs> about her? Well, she is Haitian American and she's defending her lineage. And I would like to play it. Well, because, did she go through the process of getting citizenship? Yeah, yes. she's a citizen. She's a citizen, yes. Well, she didn't they do it. She followed the law. There are a lot of black and white folk of all persuasions who break, break the law. And if you're white and you sneak across the border, you're subject to prosecution. As many times as I've come back through American customs and seen white, black, brown, red, yellow thrown on a wall and jacked up for apparent violations, I get really offended if somebody is in D.C. welcoming these clowns who just bogart the border. Now, go ahead. We can see her, whoever she is. Hi, Sakwase. Staying silent in the face of racism and hate is something that I refuse to do. This past week, the lies that have been spewed about the Haitian community, about my community, have been disgusting, deeply hurtful, and dangerous. Now, this is not about politics. It's about humanity. We must condemn this kind of hatred, this kind of racism for anyone. I have always been a proud Haitian immigrant coming to America, working hard. That's what we do, coming from gratitude. 
And I will not sit by and let people talk about my community in any way they want for their own gain. The power we have is the power to vote, to register and vote and stop this madness, this chaos. Haïtien, c'est pour nous sortir, c'est pour nous vote, c'est pour nous register, c'est pour nous parler avec tout le monde que nous connaît qui a vote. C'est là nous gain power. I am not going to sit by. It's just not okay to treat people like this. We're supposed to be uplifting each other. From our leaders to our neighbors. This has got to stop. And we have to do something about it. We can't just sit by. Thanks for listening. Register to vote. We have 50 something days. Go out and vote. We need to stop this chaos. Okay, goddamn it, apologize for Hollywood coming up with bullshit like toxic masculinity, trying to down straight folk in this world and lying about the rest of this other stuff where they got these garbage little freaks running around with sports bras on and still bouncing balls and dicks competing against the girls. Let, let's talk about that. And I don't give a goddamn because, hell, I'm 77 damn years old and I've certainly listened to black people get bad mouthed by all kinds of things. And now it's straight people and people are about decency and decorum who get in bad mouth. So get ready for the world. This does not operate on the basis of helping your feelings out. They are decent Haitians. They get in a lot of places because they have a work ethic that seems to be lacking in a lot of other places and in a lot of other peoples, I'll say that. But there is this thing called voodoo, Papa Doc Duvalier, Baby Doc, in the poisonous situation that got set up when in the early 1920s, the United States government sent in some Marines chosen carefully from Southern states because they'd know how to handle colored people to terrorize and suppress what was going on that was noble in Haiti. So we pay the consequences. That was a hundred years ago. Now we're reaping the cost of that. So yeah, we turned a place into a shithole. And then the Clintons went down there and tried to make it a worse shithole and exploit it after they had that earthquake tragedy. And myself and my late brother, the master, grandmaster, Cliff Stewart, had to send down to rescue a certain beautiful young lady who was doing an expose down there about Catholic nunneries taking in the young girls who had been orphaned in the earthquake and turning them into prostitutes and selling them into slavery, sex slavery, for the monetary good to Jesus. So we had to put together a group to keep the girl, well, the woman from being kidnapped. They were trying to. Yeah, I know about Haiti and I know about voodoo. Bad on Sunday. Amen, bide u be man. That's to me. You eat the damn cats and use the blood in the ceremonies. And the bottom line is, is you get powers so the police can't shoot you and other kinds of stuff. So let's hear about it. Quit hiding it. I'm not saying all nations did it. I'm talking about the dregs that snuck in here that did not gone through the front door. Now, that's what we're talking about. Find people from Haiti. They're fine people from the black, Hispanic, Asian, and white communities. And there are some dogs out there, too. No insult to my dog over here. <laughs>